Okay. So over here, we're going to, let's go back to the shoot arrow event and start working on some of the other stuff. Um, okay, let's do it up here. Now this is where uh, things will get a little bit mathematical. Um, we're actually going to be using, th I took this from the trajectory of a projectile Wikipedia page. We're going to be using this equation right here to get the angle of reach. Um, this will calculate uh, the uh, the angle of which we are going to shoot the arrow in the z direction. Uh, and so we're going to essentially copy this into Unreal and let the computer calculate it. And this is what we do. <clears throat> so first we need to get our movement variable over here. Because that's important there is a function in here where we can actually get gravity uh, which is important for that equation here I'm, I think I'm gonna try having this equation over here I'll bring this in every once in a while Sorry. Okay, there we go. Um, so we're doing gravity over here times the distance in this case. And so we're going to get the distance between our enemy character and our normal character. And so this will be a... This is where we actually need to break this because uh, get distance to is a function. And our this character is going to be our target. Our enemy character is going to be for this one. Then the next step that we have is uh, we should get our or let's let's multiply those first, and then we'll deal with the rest of the stuff. Alright, um, so take these two values, multiply them together, or sorry, not vector, we need to get, these are both float values, so we need to multiply by float, like that, and then our velocity, as seen here, we have velocity squared, now we have a constant velocity of 3000, so we can just create a uh, we can just create 3000, that's fine. So over here we'll just uh, create a multiplier for float and then disconnect this one just so that we can type in our 3000. Okay, so there is 3000 squared. Now we need to divide those two together. So over here, divide the top divided by the bottom. Now that we have this part here, we need to do one half arc sine. And so there is a function here that this a sine in degrees and then we're going to multiply that by one half since it's possible that this will remain or that this can turn negative we're also going to make it an absolute value so all this calculation right here, this is all for this equation. So let's pump that into a comment. And just call it 
uh, something like Uh, velocity calculation, or sorry, uh, angle of reach calculation. Okay, um, so that's done. Now the whole purpose of having all that is that we can take this and pipe it into our pitch. And this will effectively allow us to uh, calculate for the the angle of which to fire it. So let's see. If we stand over here, you'll notice that he's firing more or less directly towards us. We'll fix this rapid fire real soon. Now, I noticed that there is a problem with this over here, where if you get too far away, that angle of reach doesn't necessarily work. Um, I haven't exactly figured out how to fix that part. Um, the only thing that I've been able to actually figure out is if you set the, instead of 0.5, to set it a little bit smaller, like uh, 0.35, and it works pretty it works pretty good. So, over here, I'll show you. He's firing. Things look okay. And when you get to out here, it still is relatively fine. So, if you want, you can add like an optimal distance of which to actually fire an arrow to the character, and no one will really notice that there is a slight issue with this calculation. <clears throat> Okay, so now that we have that, the last thing that we need to do, which is probably the most basic thing, is <clears throat> just to add a weight. And let's just wait one second, just like before. And that'll solve our rapid fire problem. And that is how you get the enemy character to fire back at you. Um, <clears throat> this version of the Unreal Engine is kind of an older version. It's um, it's the one directly before this new update, which I think is point six, or yeah, like point six or something like that. Um, the, this new version contains something called the Environmental Query System, which is kind of like a um, a handler for getting the enemy character to navigate around its environment really nicely. Uh, but this right here is just a, a simple test that will allow your enemy character to move around and do stuff. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you like this video, please subscribe or like this video. And uh, also make sure to share this among the Unreal community because I know that there's a lot of people who wanted to know about some Arrow stuff and also just other things like uh, getting the enemy AI character and really just understand what blueprints are and understand how behavior trees work because you can construct some very very nice AI using this behavior tree system so alright thanks for watching everyone